So, Leo Mirror is to kick us off with this section. It looks like it's on for the showdown of the century. <laughs> so, Jeremy Cor Corbyn is officially blocked from standing for Labour at the next general election. So Labour's govern governing body, the National Executive Commun Committee, signed off a, a motion uh, not to endorse the former leader. Mm. Um, so he can still stand as an independent. He's saying, he's saying, uh, he, he's posted a statement on Twitter saying, I will not be intimidated into silence. It's like, you're not, you're not. You just can't stand for the Labour Party. Mm. And, uh, you know, maybe you would be able to stand for the Labour Party if, you, if you'd accepted uh, the EHRC's report on anti-Semitism and tried to expunge anti-Semitism from the party and from yeah. Momentum. And Momentum is, uh, is his political group and it's absolutely chock full with uh, just the most vicious sixth form anti-Semites. It would be interesting to see how this plays out though, doesn't it? Because the narrative before the transition uh, was that Jeremy Corbyn's lot, Momentum, had taken control of the party and that, that yeah. it would never be released from its vice-like left-wing yeah. grip. Now that clearly hasn't been the case and it's a real... <sighs> It's a real question, this. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a muscular move, isn't it, by Keir Starmer, yep. clearly. And it'll be interesting to see how much power he does have in the party. He's riding high in the polls. I presume he's taken this moment to swoop and to cut all connections with, with Jeremy Corbyn. Of course, he served under Jeremy Corbyn quite happily for yeah. a long time, and it's <laughs> yeah. a Tory line of attack that he is associated with Jeremy Corbyn. Mm. So it's perhaps an indication of his paranoia about that line of attack that he's so keen to disassociate himself well, I think they will have an opportunity to sort of unpick the, uh, the, the rationalisation of Corbyn being thrown out because they've had to find things that Corbyn has done since Starmer took over, mm -hmm. things that, that Starmer didn't serve under and not flag up at the time. It's quite difficult. Obviously, there's a certain amount of technicality there. And I think that, you know, something Starmer is good at, obviously, as an ex-lawyer, you know, and I'm sure he's made it reasonably robust. I suppose the other question now is whether Corbyn does stand as an independent and, and whether he'll carry the day in, well, in Islington. Well, and, Ken Livingston did uh, in the... Was it in the 90s when he was... He was Absolutely. Uh, he was, and then he came I'm back into the fold and, and came back into, into the Labour party yes. and ran, ran as became Interesting that there that, that was redemption in the end yeah, and yeah. he came back, but I suspect that Jeremy Corbyn might just end up with an ice pick in his head. <laughs> He'd probably appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a, it'd be a wonderful be legacy, <laughs> wouldn't it? It would be the ultimate martyrdom. He'd really enjoy that. <laughs> That is, it would be in a way sort of quite, as well as being quite Trotsky, it would be quite Islington as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. 